This used to be a big problem for me where every day, every single day, when I was trying to quit porn, I was struggling with just the videos and the images and just the memory of the things that I was watching popping into my brain. Like even right now, like they could pop, they're popping into my brain right now, but I'm having no reaction because like, oh, I really want it. Now you can end up to a state where you can think about the thoughts and you can just not want it. Cause like, which state is better? A lot of people, they'll be like, oh, I need to find out a way to eliminate my sexual thoughts. I was on Discord the other day, and there's this one dude, he was like, how the fuck do I, no, he didn't say how to fuck, but like, he was like, how do I eliminate my sexual thoughts? I keep having these sexual thoughts, and, you know, by, he started bringing in God to the image, and I was like, he was like, by God's grace, how do I, I was like, bro, first of all, you don't need God's grace. I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but like, all right, step one. Step two, you need to stop believing in addiction, all right? So how I stopped believing in addiction was I read the freedom model and the freedom model literally just goes through. They talk about the ad addiction ideology, how it's literally just an idea and you just act like that idea is true. Just like with Santa Claus, you know, they, like Santa Claus isn't freaking real, but kids act like Santa Claus is real. And they're like, give me the fucking cookies and milk. And they're literally putting that shit out. Like they're like, they're, they might wake up at night trying to catch Santa Claus coming down the chimney, but he's not real. And the same thing with addiction. We might act like, oh, we're not in control. Um, something has just controlled me. I don't know what happened, but in reality, we're in control. Now you can have these thoughts and not want to use it because a lot of people they try to end up at this state where they change their self-image like hamza said um they'll be like oh i don't fap i don't fap i don't fap they change their self-image and then suddenly they don't even think about porn anymore and pmo is not part of their life like not part of their brain in fact but here's the thing you just you don't just forget pmo like you will still remember exactly how to find your favorite videos you will still remember exactly like i'm telling you from personal experience this is like me speaking from like i'm not using it anymore i'm literally just giving you real talk all right you will still remember exactly how to find those videos i still remember every website i still remember every single video i still remember like like the thumbnail <laughs> the thumbnail for the video and all of it i still remember it but the main difference is from me, like me right now, as I am, to the people who apparently don't remember it, is that I don't want it. You could, it's better to be in this state where you know about everything, like you know it exists. You're not convincing yourself or lying to yourself that it doesn't exist. You know it exists, you know you can access it, but you just don't want to because there's no value in it. Just like when you're standing off the edge of a cliff, and you think about, oh man, I could like jump off this cliff. You're not going to feel compelled to jump off the cliff because addiction does not exist. So it can literally be with the same, the same thing with porn. You know you can go to the videos, but you don't want to pay the cost. You know you can jump off the cliff, but you don't want to pay the cost. There's like no value in it anymore. Now, how you like change your preference on the value and stuff of prawn um, I have a video called debunking no fat myths, so you can check that out. And, you know, that's like some of the value points of prawn PMO, but like you could look at that video and see exactly what I did and rethink. But what really like actually grains this into your head is reading the freedom model. It goes through every single like value point that you could possibly see in any drug and completely debunks it. So you don't need to change your porn thoughts. You can like think something and not want to engage with it. You know, like sometimes we literally get some dark ass thoughts. We'll get like, like, I don't, I don't want to like say it, but like we, we get some dark ass thoughts, but we don't feel compelled to act on them. There's nothing like compelling you to act on anything. You only act on the things which you see value in and which you see like life can be happier in.
This is exactly what the freedom model talks about. It's called positive drive principle. We only do things that we like see life can be happier with. Like I'm, ha <laughs> I'm about to bring up the necklace example again. For those of you who have watched me before, um, I always use this. I have a choice between two necklaces. If I'm happier with this one, I'll choose this one. If I'm happier with this one, I'll choose this one. I'm not going to feel compelled. Like, let's say I'm thinking about this one, but I want to choose this one because it looks better. Just because I'm thinking about this one doesn't mean I'm like split in two and now I don't know what to choose. No, it's like I want this one. This is what I want. And I'll effortlessly take it. Just like with PMO, porn masturbation orgasm, in case you didn't know. If you want abstinence, which means like you just want a life without it and you think that will genuinely be happier. You're not going to fight urges. You're not going to um, battle triggers. You're not going to do any of those things. You're just going to go along with it. And, you know, you're done. You're done at that point. So hopefully this video helped you read the freedom model and, you know, click on this video if it looks interesting. And yeah, subscribe, like, and comment if you like, um, if you like this, if you like talking head type videos more than if you, man, what the fuck, fuck, can't even find the fucking words. All right, comment, you know, fuck, we already lost like 500 people by now. All right, comment if you like the talking head videos more than you like the me on the computer ones. All right, hopefully you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Mwah.